Well, we're going to talk to some people who have some experience with those planes right this minute, Contessa. The pressure is also coming, though, now from the rank and file of the airline industry. The Association of Professional Flight Attendants, the union that represents crew members of U.S. carriers, is urging American Airlines CEO Doug Parker to ground the 737 MAX 8 pending an investigation. Lori Bassani is the national president of the AFPA and a former flight attendant for uh, multiple years with America. Are, do you represent only the American flight attendants or other airlines as well that fly the MAX 8, Lori? Yes, APFA represents only the American Airlines flight attendants, and we're nearing 28,000 right now. And you have gone to uh, Mr. Parker, the uh, head of uh, that airline, and asked that they ground the flights, uh, and so far, no. Would your membership take uh, labor action potentially and not get on those planes? You know, no labor action, but my members are becoming increasingly more concerned about the safety of this aircraft because as you know, there has been no final determination yet. Right. What about the pilots that you speak to or that your membership speaks to? We've had several on, most of them as Contessa says, say that they think the plane is safe, uh, that uh, they would know what to do in an emergency. We had one on yesterday who said, I wouldn't be comfortable getting on the plane, but I'd be more comfortable getting on and flying it than sitting on it. Look, our pilots are some of the most professional and well-trained pilots in the world. We respect our pilots you know, greatly. Uh, I do believe that they will reserve uh, changing, their, changing their mind if the uh, situation merits, though. And let's be clear, the, uh, the association that represents the American pilots have come out and they stand by the safety of the MAX-8. I got to speak to the head of the Pilots Association that represents the American pilots this morning, Lori, uh, Dennis Tager, and he specifically pointed out a very unique feature when it comes to the MAX-8 fleet, specifically for American Airlines. Take a listen to this first. Okay. Our airlines and American Airlines were unique because we have additional indicators on our aircraft that other uh, airlines don't have. That's just an added layer for us. So the American planes, the MAX 8s, have two angle of uh, attack displays, one for each pilot, and he says that makes them safer. Why are you disputing what your own pilots are telling you? You know, there's so much information coming out, and just as much that comes out positive is coming out negative. And I really think the big thing here is that we don't know exactly why that crash happened or how it happened, and we need to have those answers. The public and our members deserve, deserve those answers now and I really do feel like in, in overabundance of caution it'd be so much more prudent to ground those airplanes. Why do you think right the FAA now. has held off so far unlike the aviation authorities in many other countries? Of course I can't speak for the FAA. I do know that the United States has a very good safety record. I respect them. Um, however it is concerning that so many countries are starting especially when Canada came on this morning mm -hmm. um, but the first concerning for me was the UK, Singapore, and uh, Australia, because they're also, their regulators are well known for a very high safety record. Lori, so we're still it, very concerned. Are any of your flight attendants saying they don't want to get on the aircraft? Or is there any talk about, you know, some kind of strike, basically? No, no, there won't be a strike. But any flight attendant who does not feel safe or comfortable to fly, are not, they're not forced to. They don't have to. And that's in any situation, not just this one. All right, Lori, thank you very much. Lori Bassani, thank you. My pleasure.